Hello Doctor Who fans and toy collectors and once again welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review by me the Obsessuvian95 who was born in 1995 and is obsessed with a television show called Doctor Who. So uh, this is my review of Martha Jones from Last of the Time Lords who comes with an open toclophane head. First things first, I'm not a fan of Martha Jones and I don't think I ever have been since uh, she first appeared on screens back in 2007. The reason for this mainly because she was in love with the idea I just don't like the idea of the companion falling in love with the Doctor because for example Sarah Jane who was like one of the best companions if not the best she wasn't well it was hinted that she was in love with him but she didn't actually say it on screen like Martha Jones did but anyway that's besides the point now I'm going to give you a look at the figure from her last regular appearance in Doctor Who before she appeared three more times in uh, the later days of David Tennant era. So uh, the figure is a good figure by the way um, except the eyes look a bit odd but it's not bad. Uh, obviously the uh, figure is I think it's a brand new sculpt because uh, the other Martha Jones figure, uh, her was uh, completely different. It was a trademark uh, outfit. Uh, but this is more of a uh, military look uh, because Martha Jones became a member of UNIT later on. And uh, I must say, really good detail. Um, You've got the uh, buckles here going down, uh, the uh, jacket goes over the other side of the jacket, it's very nice. Uh, the pockets, the straps, you may just be able to see it, the uh, camera's becoming all weird all of a sudden, I don't know why. Um, you've got these uh, gold buttons there as well. And you got another pocket there and her boots and if you can just see it there is another buckle there so as you may have guessed it this figure has a lot of buckles and that's what it looks like from the side and if I didn't point out already uh, the hair is uh, pretty nicely detailed I must say it's one of the uh, best detailed her uh, sculpts I've seen on a uh, new series Doctor Who action figure so uh, oh yeah the likeness to Freema Agjiman is uh, spot on I think it's actually better than the other uh, figure which I did a review of a while back so if you take a look at the articulation now, the uh, head is able to do a 360, which is normal on figures. The arms can do a 360 degree turn. The elbows can move up and down, and the hands can move, I think, it's really stiff. There we go. So uh, that's the upper body, and the uh, the legs can move, but again, these are really stiff as well. I'm not sure why. I think it's probably because of the uh, material they use for this figure, and uh, obviously the knees can move as well as you may have just seen, and the feet don't. So. Uh, that is Martha Jones. So uh, 
now I'll take a look at the accessory that comes with Martha Jones, which is an open toclophane head. And uh, the actual uh, fear for a toclophane came with a re-release of the Series 3 John Sim Master. I only got the first re release of uh, the Series 3 John Sim Master, which didn't come with toclophane so I didn't bother getting the re-release as I don't want to get twice as unless of course it uh, is uh, for army building i.e. Daleks or Cybermen, Sontarans etc so uh, I'll give you a look on the outside first um, it's very nice it looks a lot like the uh, toclophane it doesn't close by the way so uh, for those of you who want this, or who uh, haven't got it, uh, when you get it, don't try closing it because it may break and rip apart. Uh, but of course, the best thing about this is the head sculpt. And uh, it looks quite a bit like Davros in some way, which is quite cool. I just I just bring it more into the light so you can see it more because I think the light does it more justice on the camera. You've got this wiring here all around because this is in actual fact a human from uh, the end of the universe because um, it was the little boy who from. Uh, Blue Peter won a competition and, and won a role in Doctor Who and if if you watched the uh, episode Utopia then you'll know what I'm talking about but if you've never watched it then I might have just boiled it f for you a bit so uh, really the head sculpt is pretty good and around the mouth got this metal here it looks quite uh, freaky Especially the real thing that uh, was in Last of the Time Wards. And you've got these uh, hinges which supposedly help it close. But obviously it doesn't close in figure form as it is made out of rubber plastic. So that, that's pretty much it really on the uh, toclophane. So overall, do I rate these figures? Well, yes, seeing as Martha Jones is not my favourite companion, this is a very good representation from her appearance from that story. So I would try and track it down on Amazon or eBay or uh, maybe the BBC shop, but I doubt it now because uh, this figure is five years old as it came out in 2008. And, yeah, so, uh, if you want this figure, get it. But, obviously, for those of you who are not completists, then I would pass. So, thank you very much for watching this review, guys. And I shall see you in my next review, which will be another Captain Jack 